I really enjoy coming to school as there's so many things to do and it's different every day. It's such a great experience for me for this school. I've really enjoyed coming here. It's helped me so much, like, unbelievable amounts. It's not something that you dread. It's something that you do look forward to. Education forms the backbone of services we provide in Gloucestershire. Planning for both teaching and learning and for the buildings of our schools is one of the most critical things that we do. To help local authorities like ours put their plans into action, the government have instituted a programme called Building Schools for the Future, BSF, led by Partnerships for Schools. So what is BSF? Building Schools for the Future is a major national programme that Gloucestershire wants to get involved in, um, which, if we get the go-ahead, would bring in around about £800 million worth of investment in secondary school buildings, completely modernising them, transforming the learning environment and changing the way children and young people um, both learn and are taught in our secondary schools. In Gloucestershire, we're committed to improving and transforming our secondary schools. As part of that process, we're talking with schools and with the community to try and see what is the best way forward for those schools. In summer 2009, we gathered a wide range of people involved with schools, from pupils to architects, to help us develop a vision for schools in the future. We invited Marcus Orlovsky, a national education consultant from Bryanston Square, to help us. Okay, what percentage of secondary school kids do you think strongly agreed with, I learn a lot of school, school is interesting and I enjoy school activities? About 40%. About 40%. Uh, it came out at um, 18, 12 and 18. You know, when people talk about building schools of the future, what they quite often think about is, is, is about buildings. It's not, it's about the emotions which go with it. Schools are homes for people. They are, they are wormholes into, into, into opportunities. They're, they're portals. They are... They are for a young person the way in which they, they start discovering their, their hopes. And, and so they're not buildings. They're much, much more than that. They're an important part of a community. They're an important part in people's lives. BSF is a massive project. And BSF means we have to get it right. By getting it right, we can make a real difference to the success of children and to the communities in which they live. Today, we still have classrooms with chairs, with desks and with boards. But we also have high-tech spaces, spaces full of computers for computer-based learning. Gloucestershire schools are often at the very top of the tree. They perform well academically. They get good Ofsted results. But that's no reason not to challenge what we do, to think again about how teaching and learning should work, to think about the future. And that's what BSF is all about. Very light, airy, spacious buildings and ones that excite the imagination, um, buildings that children and young people are going to be really interested in being in, um, which will make them feel valued, and also the staff who work in our schools, um, also to inspire and, and to, to enable them to feel valued, working within environments which help the staff also to deliver of their best. Some schools have already brought in changes. Cleve School near Cheltenham. Alan McConaughey, the head teacher, explained about the school's ethos and what they have achieved. Welcome to Cleve School and to our new building. This building is based on several key principles, the most important of which are that we wanted the building and the equipment in it to be inspirational in themselves, telling our young people every single day that education is the way that they can improve their lives and their life chances. If transformation is partly about the building, it is even more about the practice. For me, it is about the school fitting the child and not the child fitting the school. One of the most important industries in our country is the creative industry and we make an awful lot of our, uh, our income from generating music and other creative forms. Um, what we're trying to do here is to prepare young people for life in the music industry. So you'll find that they go around the music department, a uh, recording studio, music technology, uh, recital space rooms, uh, practice rooms, and here's one band in, in motion at the moment. Music is an obvious example of how we can grow talent. We have an obligation to find and nurture the talent of each of our pupils, whether that is mathematics, languages or leadership. We have developed a curriculum which has three dimensions. A range of subjects that is so broad that every child can embark upon a truly individual learning programme. I had a few learning, learning disabilities, so I was never the smartest child in the world. 
But um, when I came to Cleese School, they offered me so many like different courses that could help to improve my learning. So they helped me with extra maths and extra English. So therefore, just help my help me overall to build like my just general knowledge up. And so therefore, it, like when I came in year seven, I was not the most confident lad. But when I now, once I finished, I've uh, built so much more confidence, and just my learning just went from step up, step up, step up. And There's a facility in there called Learning Skills and they've got teaching assistants that actually help you in lessons and they've got like take care of any lesson give you extra lessons like extra maths or extra english or whatever. always saying on every day for you so there's something for everyone one of the key aspects of bsf is to work with pupils who are currently not achieving and change what we do to ensure that they become achievers this means a radical shift in how we treat these children as I come to Burton House, it's boosted my conf confidence and my focus, less people to mess around with. In trouble with the police a lot and back in school, into fighting and stuff like that, but now I've totally changed. Oh, I'm planning to go to Evesham College in September to do animal care, so we'd like to become an animal photographer. So that's pretty much my dream to do. Because some people are more inclined to learn inside, um, and some people are more inclined to learn out outside the classroom. It's quite nice to have the option to learn outside as well, because in my schools you don't. We have found working in partnership key to broadening the range of courses we can offer. It also enables those pupils who need a work environment to experience it in as real a way as possible. Together we can provide a much richer education than we ever could on our own. I just enjoy kind of making things and productive and I like the stages of uh, designing, making and then seeing how it all comes together and working. I'm much more of a hands-on person. I'm not very good at writing and things like that, but I'm good at productive making things. Fast-tracking and slowing down teaching matches the learning programme to every child's individual ability. Well, I'm fast-tracking, which means that I'm doing some of my GCSEs a year early. Um, for example, French, which I've just finished, and the teachers have been so supportive and they've helped you through everything, because it, at first it's quite a daunting experience. We are grateful to have had the building's investment, even more so for the necessity it brought for us to work together to be totally clear about what excellent schooling for every child really means. It is asking ourselves how would schooling be if we were designing it for each of our own children. Cleve School is an example of one community's vision of a school for the future. But each community will have to work through its own process of change to meet its own needs. So how will BSF be implemented in Gloucestershire? and which schools will see improvements first. We've prioritised work at 38 secondary schools, seven special schools and two pupil referral centres. Our initial project embraces four schools, Haywood in Cinderford in the Forest of Dean, Pitville School in Cheltenham, Maidenhill School in Stonehouse Stroud and the Shrubbery School also in Stonehouse Stroud. We're expecting all secondary schools in the county to benefit from what we learn from other BSF projects and from our own first group of secondary schools, regardless of where they appear in the programme. I think we'll see school buildings valued in a way that maybe in the old buildings they haven't been. I think BSF gives us that unique opportunity to have the conversation that you need to have every now and again about what schools are really about and what communities want from their schools and then it gives us the money to invest in the fabric and space and environment to help deliver what people want their schools to deliver. If you think of the issues that are going to transform outcomes for children, BSF is one of our biggest issues. I look at it in terms of it's easy to look at a major capital investment as being about buildings but since I've been looking at some of our most recent investments in, in schools in Gloucestershire I've seen the difference it can make to the approach children have to their education. We should see this as a really exciting time in Gloucestershire, an opportunity to develop and to create 21st century education, an opportunity to engage with and enrich the experience of all our children.